interview for the Mostly Music Podcast. I am here with Corey James of Carbon Stone, Crystal James of Anoxia, and Amy Lee of Carbon Stone. Say and Jeremy. And Jeremy, Jeremy and Carver, so is staying off camera. Is and also staying off camera. And Josh is like our fifth <laughs> beer. I tried. I tried to stay off camera. Eric's over there staying off camera. <laughs> okay, so I have groups of five on um, different topics. So do y'all want to pick a topic or do you just want to do all of them? Let's do all of them? Yeah. I mean, let's go. I'll them edit anything else. <laughs> no. Fire them all. Let's go. So, we'll start with the music questions. Uh, since you are in fact a band. Okay. So, favorite song to play live? Okay. Oh, boy. That's our first question. I'm already fucked. Uh, favorite song to play live? Uh, Phantoms. I think Phantoms is probably one of my, my personal favorite songs to play live. Really cool. Lower uh, vocal registry of me and a lot of screaming involved. So that's probably my favorite one to play live. That's a tough one for me. So I actually have an older song called The Iron. Um, it's more upbeat. Really cool riff. Really cool riff. Yes. Josh approves. The Iron New. Oh, let me sing it loud. Yes. Iron yes. you up. Yes. Volume up. Action. <laughs> they probably called that. Okay, action. So, who is your favorite new band or artist? Oh, shit. That's so difficult. Already, I, we've already discussed influences, so I wanted to get your take on My now. favorite new band or artist, I, I'd have to say I'm, I'm definitely uh, a fan of Bring Me the Horizon. Uh, just because of how diverse they are uh, all over the place. Like, you can get a pop song out of those dudes, you can get a rock song, you can get a screaming up front, uh, all over the place. And uh, they write a lot of hits. Right. So I'd probably say Bring the Horizon for sure. I'm stumped on that one. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm truly, I'm truly stumped on that one. Because like, I'm, I'm still stuck on Gemini's. Yep. They're not too new, but they're not like they're pretty new. Okay, you have enough. You're doing enough. They can't. Yeah. Good dudes. Great dudes. Good dudes. Open for. Yep. Very cool. That's what I learned this though. Whatever. It's fine. <laughs> I'll have to fill you in on that one later. I'm failing in all of my capacities <laughs> today. It's fine. Do you have anyone? Would you like to contribute? Um, it's probably a tie between uh, Sleep Signals and Varsity. Okay. Neither of which are signed, I believe. So. Oh. Yeah. Or at, Varsity might be signed, but yeah. Anything, Jeremy? You want a camera for favorite or no? new band? <laughs> no, okay, oh Jeremy's God. good. Okay, all right. He has no. Do you? Would you like? To? Who do you like? Jeremy? Nah, good. good. Like, oh. right. Too many to name. <laughs> Too many to name. Yeah. Okay. Uh, any legendary venue that you want to play? Well, we all have one. We all kind of want to play, and that's uh, that's Red Rocks. Red Rocks. Yeah. Red Rocks. Yes. That'd be badass. Well, there's a lot. It's a long list. Long, yeah. yeah. We want to play all of them. All of them. Yeah. Madison Square that. Garden. Yeah. yeah. Madison, Madison Square, Square Garden. Garden. Yep. A little New York accent. I want to play that. That'd be cool. There you go. Yeah. Person Park or Kings Dominion or something like that. That'd be mm. cool. Okay. Hershey Park is actually supposed to be a pretty badass place to play. I want to play Disneyland. In fall, though, not when it's a thousand degrees in July. Right. <laughs> yes. You don't want that like shit. Like now. Like today. Yeah. yeah. Today, today's too much. Whiskey okay. a go go. Something mm, on the Sunset yeah. Strip. Yeah. Just for the nostalgia yeah. of that. Okay. There we go. That or, um. What am I trying to think of? Oh. Club 54. I don't know. That's not still. Open. There's a, like a revival of it. It's oh. about the same. So there's a long list. Okay. I, I, that's fine. Alright. Craziest, most embarrassing thing. Happened on oh well, there's been a couple. <laughs> oh, no. There's, there's story definitely, time. There's, there's definitely been a couple. Uh, yeah, story time with Corey. Uh, <laughs> you got, you have, more, you have more than I do. I just <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, I'll never forget this. Uh, my first show ever. Uh, I think I was 18 or 19. Um, it was at this venue called the Vault in Baltimore, Maryland. Jeremy's laughing off camera because we just talked about the Vault yesterday. <laughs> first show ever. Uh, get on stage, you know, I'm nervous as fucking hell because I've never played a show in my life. And uh, a few songs in, my fucking amp blows up. So, 
that was pretty nerve-wracking. Uh, a couple of kicks later, I kicked the shit out of that thing, dude. You know, because that's what musicians are supposed to do. And uh, it, it came back to life, and we were able to finish the set. But yeah, that fuck, there, was, there was a moment of, of my heart stopped. I was like, you fucking serious, dude. So that was it for me. How about you? Turn my mic off. <laughs> Mid-song. Mid-song. <laughs> Literally turned it off, like hit the off button, and didn't even realize it. And I'm belting it out, thinking that I'm doing great. Everybody gets quiet. And I'm like, whoops. <laughs> and I played it off too. No, I turned around and was like, fuck. And I looked at Bevel and was like, I don't know that happened. <laughs> I did it. It was my fault. <laughs> it's called rock and roll. <laughs> It rock, happens. rock and roll. It happens. Like what's about to happen this evening. It, you know, we don't know what's about to happen. Michael Neely pulled his cord out on stage last week. No, I didn't pull my cord out. I stepped on it and it bent it. And we're lucky we got through that show. That yeah. cord's in the trash now. Yeah, nice. <laughs> it happens. All right. At least it wasn't like, hey, I forgot the words entirely to the song. It happens. That, I, I, that happens. And then I just do I this. <laughs> Or make up words. I'll make up words like a motherfucker if I need to. I can't do it anymore these days, but I used to. These days, if I start changing up lyrics to like the AM trauma or something, I'll get murdered. Yeah. I'll get murdered. If you just put the lyrics, just put the mic out there. You all singing these fucking lyrics? La, 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 la. <laughs> I did say that at a show. That's, I a, saw, I sung that too much that's an inside show. joke. <laughs> I was terribly drunk. I don't drink much when I go to stage anymore. A couple beers, that's it. But back in the younger years, it was like, let's just get the vodka, let's go and get on stage. We were coasting through a breakdown, and he, right before we go in, he's like, y'all singing these fucking lyrics? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's on YouTube somewhere. Yes, it is. <laughs> it definitely is. Of course. Any yep. moment like that's going to get caught. Oh, yeah. Of course. Oh. Those are the famous people to record. Yes. And put up. Stop the good stuff. You look perfect. Yeah, right? It's like how many videos are, videos are there of Miles Peter for getting there? That's like right. That's, that's right. what everyone focuses on. Exactly. Doesn't nearly fucking up a song and a guitar. It happens, right? <laughs> it's all for Hey, look, we all screwed up at our jobs, okay? Yes, we yes, did. We did. <laughs> yes, we did. But see, when that happens, Corey gives me like this really grotesque, dirty look to make sure everybody can see it, and then I laugh and go, oh, and we just make it part of the show. It's true. <laughs> it's all true. Oh, now we're sharing stage secrets. It's true. <laughs> yes, it's true. true. All right. First album you ever bought? First album I ever bought? <laughs> I don't trust that movie. Uh, For a second I thought that was, I was going to No, no, it was actually, uh, it was a uh, cassette tape because, you know, those were the times back then. And, yeah. Uh, it was, uh, yes, kids, cassette tapes were real. Um, <laughs> it was actually uh, uh, The Offspring Smash. Okay. That was the first album I actually purchased uh, when I was a kid. And uh, I played that tape so much that I, I destroyed it, had to, had to actually rebuy uh, the cassette for it. So that was first one ever. Still love that album. Mine was a Madonna album. <laughs> it was. I can see I that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a Madonna album. I don't remember which one it was. I think it had Linda Tell on it. But it was definitely Madonna. <laughs> Mine was also a cassette. It was Anthrax State of Euphoria. There you go. That was what I was into back then. So. <laughs> What's that? Did you have the best one? the best one. Well, it's the most metal one. I <laughs> So don't judge me, but... But... <laughs> by the way... By the way... My first one that I bought with my own money was, in fact... Street Holy oh, fucking hell. I thought, I that. You know, I was randomly singing, singing the little jingle there. How about that shit? Because uh, I was going to say, um, ask y'all Backstreet Boys are in the same thing. If you had to choose between the two, Backstreet Boys. Thank God. Because they, they, they you know, I, 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 I I, I, I'm going in sync on this one. Sorry. I'm not well versed enough in their material the way. Okay, look, look, look. Justin Timberlake, he's cool as fuck. He's hilarious. He's cool as fuck. Okay. But Backstreet Boys, I like hated them so much in my teens. But they became, they somehow became cool as I've become an adult. And I'm like, you got to respect the dad group, body. A, the dad body, the group of dudes. <laughs> the group of dudes, they're like, sold billions of records, man. Like, that's so insane. So, you know. 
Yeah. They did too. Yeah. I don't hate NSYNC either. It was the Backstreet Boys and NSYNC. There's Backstreet Boys because they're, they're funny. <laughs> What, what, I, like, I feel like that was an ironic what, answer. What, <laughs> what movie were they in? Were they in a movie? They were in the end of the movie. Um, um, it was a movie with uh, all, the, all the comedian guys. Uh, Jonah Hill and, and, and it's when hell just comes on this. earth. Uh, okay. just, just, yeah. it's, it's, it's the end. Oh yeah, you were just talking about that. <laughs> and, yeah. and at the end of the movie, they're all in heaven and it's the Backstreet Boys like, playing their shit. I'm like, that's hilarious. It's amazing. It's good shit. It was funny. <laughs> She's like, now I'm judging you. Yeah. The judgment. I have never purchased or listened to an entire Backstreet Boys album, I promise. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> well, I don't judge. I just went and saw one a couple of years ago, so I don't care. I've been waiting 20 years to see them. There you go. See? It's amazing. Fucking A. It was just, the, it was just I, I'm going to defend myself a little bit. It was just that the vibe, the overall energy was so... Like, it was so funny. So there's a bunch of people about my age and older. They had their kids and their families. Generations, right there. Yeah. It, was, Generations. it was cool. It well, was, this this is a very important here. philosophy in music and art in general. If you enjoyed it, sure. fuck anybody. Else. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's all that matters. Yeah. It's for you, not anybody else. Yeah. Okay. So, maybe questions. Next category. Yes. Yeah. Well. <laughs> I figured since I named my blog, my blog mostly music, mm. so I'm supposed to talk about these instruments music. Oh, yeah. I've been failing pretty miserably at that. Gotcha. Okay. Talk about books sometimes, but I fail on this one. Alright. Are we all fans of horror? Oh, yeah. Okay, I figured, yeah. but I wasn't sure. Alright, so, favorite horror movie? Uh, yeah. You have to pick one. There has to be one. Fucking, oh, it sucks. Pumpkinhead. She already is. Oh, my favorite horror movie. There's so many horror movies, man. Uh, it's either going to be that or Hellraiser. Okay. Um, man, new age or old age? We're talking about Anything. classics. We're talking about your favorite. All can, of it. Can I get? Can I get an old age or new you, age? You can. You can separate. That's fine. Okay. Oh, well. Classic. Oh, he's going to say the new age. Favorite. Just, favorite. Just, favorite horror movie is uh, Halloween. Okay. Halloween is absolutely Michael Myers. Is is amazing. My newest would be the Insidious Saga. Oh, nice. Yes. I thought it was going to say Texas Chainsaw. No, because uh, it's, when, when, when Insidious came out, it was a very, very original take on horror, and uh, I love those movies. Can not see the new one that just came out? Yes. Can you see that? Yes. And, uh, that's what I'm at. Yep. I'm more of a sci thriller guy, so I like Event Horizon. Okay. Yeah. That's a big movie, too. Yeah. I've heard a lot of people recommend. I've, I don't think I've ever actually watched it all. Oh, it's fucked up. Everybody's like, and when the movie's over, it. you're not sure what's going on. Yeah. yeah. I need to like, wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> that will be added to my list to go and watch immediately. All right. So, and I don't know if it'll be the ones from the movies, but who's your favorite horror movie villain? Because you can like a story without necessarily caring for them. Oh, man. Favorite so, horror movie villain. Favorite. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> what, what was your answer? Freddy. Freddy. Yeah, no, Freddy's Freddy got Kruger. style. I don't care what movie you're into, Freddy is the shit. It's yeah. just, he's sarcastic, think, yeah. he's hilarious. His personality yeah. is yeah. just everything I look for in it. <laughs> <laughs> so you're trying to say that Corey makes you think of Freddy Krueger? <laughs> well then, uh, man, favorite, uh, she didn't say Michael Myers. I know he just said that. But, uh, that's he's, he's, definitely your favorite. Yeah, that's, yeah he's, he's my favorite. Michael's great. You can't kill him. Yeah. And it's always the way he sits back up. I've it's incredible. Really, but I thought it was great until you got however many movies into it we are now. Yeah. It's the, the, uh, the newer ones have been badass. The newer ones. No? You didn't like them? I'm terrified of clowns. No. The newest one wasn't that good. serious, serious horror crush on Pennywise. Yes. Yeah. Okay, okay, but like only the, the new one. The new one? Yes. And I don't really? know why. Like, it's, okay. just, it's just different. It's just different. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a Tim Curry all the way. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I love Tim Curry. I did not like the remake. The new The new It made me really 
I used to be. Um, I watched it when I was a little kid, and that set up for me basically to be in everybody's rooms. But now I'm older, and I watch it, and I think it's hilarious. It, it may just be because I've seen Tim yeah. Curry out of the makeup, and yep. I know enough about him now. Right. And I watched that movie, and I think it's so funny. Easy peasy. Yeah. Um, okay, so favorite Disney movie. Oh, what is it? Yeah, Maleficent. Maleficent. Uh, oh, man. I haven't yeah. seen it. Favorite? Is Disney Shrek Disney? Villain. Or is that a picture? Mine, mine would be Scar. It's the Lion King because you, they did such a good job writing his character where you just really fucking hate him. So, but you hate him so much that you enjoy. Uh, his on screen time, you know what I mean? So, Plus, he has the best song in the movie. Yes. Yes. Hands down. Yep. <laughs> yep. Hey. And Jeremy Irons. Yep. Anyway. And he does a great job yeah, of feeding them. Yeah, not really. <laughs> no, you know what, actually, my favorite Disney movie is, and it's really old and it's not even a cartoon Cry Wolf. Okay. If it has to be a Disney title, I, that was a really good movie. Well, Disney Eric. villain. Who's your, who's your favorite? Oh, favorite Disney <laughs> villain. <laughs> Almost time for a beer. Yes. I don't know. I've never really thought about it that hard. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Last movie you saw in theaters. Fuck. Oh no. Are y'all gonna be one of those people that haven't been to the theater in a long time? The Lego oh, movie. That's how long it's been for me. The first Lego movie. Yeah. I love the Lego movie. What was it called? Yeah. No, it wasn't. It wasn't Godzilla. Star Wars. Star Wars. It was Star Wars. Uh, which one? Rise of Skywalker. Yeah. Yeah. Favorite actor or actress? Or both. You can pick one of them. Favorite actor, Johnny Depp. I thought Brad Pitt was a stupid pretty boy until 12 months. <laughs> <laughs> and I gained a lot of respect for him. Yeah. Yeah. Seven? Yeah, 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 that's a yeah. fucked up one too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, Come on, bro. Tom Cruise as a bad guy in Collateral. I gained a lot of respect for him. Yeah. Now we're to the random, the fun questions, the five random questions. <laughs> Randoms. Let's get Randoms. Right. Oh. We already kind of talked about this. What? Favorite ice cream toppings? That was given to me by someone else. Reese's Pieces Cups. But not the big ones. The little mini ones. Yeah. I like sprinkles. Sprinkles. I like sprinkles. I like caramel. Jeremy likes gummy bears, I think he said. Yes, yes. yes. Gummy bears are the shit. It's very simple. You don't feel <laughs> like a whole lot of crap on your ice cream? No. 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 Okay. Maybe. Hot when fudge. we have ice cream, it's very rare when we do, rare. but yeah, it's very simple ice cream. Hot fudge. The shell, the shell. Drown the hot fudge yeah. till it, everything what is just soup. What about the chocolate that you pour on there and it like hardens? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And the butterscotch yeah. version of that too is really good. Yeah. 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 Favorite drink, alcoholic or not? Well. <laughs> mm-hmm. Corey like likes beer. <laughs> I, I do enjoy beer, but favorite drink? Uh... Pretty much anything that has vodka in it. Let's just be honest about that. I have a favorite, but I don't drink it often because it gets me in trouble. And I love Yeager. Yep. Okay. Yep. Drambuie. 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 I love it's screwdrivers, alcohol. man. If it's a non-alcoholic drink, yeah. some sort of tea, I keep like 60 different blends of tea. Yeah, I'm a big tea. We're a big, we're a big tea. Tea is amazing. And I have to have it sweetened because I live in Alabama. <laughs> Runs through my veins. Yeah. That's how it is. <laughs> if, you don't, if you don't sweeten it, it's poison. All right. Country that you want to visit. That you what? Country that you want to visit. Uh, well. But like, talk of the list. So, man. Japan? There. Japan. Oh. Cool. They feed crows there like you feed pigeons here in Baltimore. Really? Okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, so I specifically want to go there. I'd rather feed crows. Anywhere in Europe. I was actually born in Germany. So uh, no memories of Germany, but we could, uh, anyway. 
right? Maybe, maybe not Russia. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, maybe we'll just mark that one out. Yeah, just uh, not go to Russia. Nope. I would Curry. probably, I'd probably check out Ireland. Since that's where most of my people are from. So. But other than that, I have no motivation to leave the country, honestly. I mean, if there's a show or something, that'd be awesome. But, right, you know. right. <laughs> I used to think I'd want to go to Germany. But anyway, yep. <coughs> favorite season? Fall. fall. Not, not this one. Fall. Okay. Absolutely fall. 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 Yep. fall. Okay. Yes. Favorite holiday is probably Halloween. Absolutely. Of course. Yep. <laughs> yes, it is. All right. Last but not least, your first music crush. Oh, boy. We've had that question before, haven't we? In terms of having an actual crush on the artist or just like being... It, you know, absorbed by a band. You, know, you can answer that however you want. If you would like to say a being. So, the band that made me want to be a musician, I guess. Okay. Or that made me like metal was Anthrax. Okay. Cross on Anthrax. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, Musically. I'll, 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 yeah. <laughs> Musically. I don't know. It's going to be a musical. No, so when I was in elementary school or middle school or whatever, I had a friend for Tiffany, but who didn't, you know? <laughs> Think. The artist formerly known as Prince. Mm. That motherfucker will put on heels and walk into a bar and walk out with your woman. Yeah. He will. <laughs> he will. But and write a song about it and make a million dollars off of it. <laughs> <laughs> she already knows mine. Back in the day. Back in the day? Or like Band crush. Christina Scavia. Uh, well done. Okay. Duh. <laughs> there you go. Duh. There you go. <laughs> that was always my favorite too. In the, in the Amy Lee Christina debate. Yep. Christina all the way. Okay. Scavia. Yes. All right. So thank you for your time. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It's great. See. It's great See? to meet you. It's great to meet y'all. And you know, you're gonna right. stick around and see what the hell's about to happen. Yeah. yeah. What we if I just left? Well, that'd be silly. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, thank you right. for filming this. Thank you very much for thank filming you. this, Josh. Thank you, you to all of my viewers. Yes. This has been Dixie, Corey, and Crystal, Neely, and Josh. And Jeremy with and Eric. And, 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 yeah. <laughs> off and camera, a whole bunch of people camera. off camera with the Most Music Podcast. Awesome.